Okay, hello, you're welcome to my channel. Now, in this video, we want to differentiate the following functions using the product rule. So, the product rule tells us that when we, whenever we have a function written as a product of two terms, all right, like this, or in general, u times v, where u and v are functions of x, then we can use this rule, all right, to get the derivative of that function. Good. Now, you may be curious about the second one. We're having a fraction. Why are we having to use the product rule instead of the quotient rule? Anyway, you can still make use of the quotient rule, all right? But here, I'm going to show you that we can still use product rule to differentiate this function. But oh, right away, let's just start with the first one. So we have y to be x squared times the tangent of x. Good. Now, to differentiate that, we will need to first of all take note that here we have u to be x squared, all right? We can call this u and we can call this v. Okay, so let's make that substitution. We say let u be x squared, all right? And then let v be tangent of x, all right? And now let's differentiate u and then differentiate v and see what we have. So du dx will now become, what well, the derivative of x squared, just by using the power rule, we're gonna have two x, all right? We bring two to the front and then we subtract one from that two, good. Okay, and again, we're going to have to differentiate v with respect to x. Well, the derivative of tangent of x, of tangent of x with respect to x is secant square of x, all right? So you just go ahead and recall that um, trigonometric id, or the derivative of that trig function. So we're going to have this to be secant squared of x. So whenever we differentiate tangent of something to be secant squared of that thing, all right? Okay, in this case, it's just a single variable, x. All right, good. And now that we are done with the derivatives, this is how we are going to do it. We are going to multiply this with that, right? Multiply the diagonals together, okay? So we're going to multiply this and that. We will have u times dv dx, right? That is u dv dx. So you multiply x squared with secant squared x. We start off with this part first. So that means that dy dx will now become x squared times secant square x, all right? Everything there, they are just perfect squares. And then we add it with, this tells us addition. So whenever we are doing product rule, we will use addition, all right? Multiply the diagonal, all right? And multiply this other diagonal. So we have 2x times tangent of x. So we put it down there, 2x times the tangent of x. Great. This right here is the derivative of that function with respect to x. Very simple, right? Okay, let's look at the second one. Well, this function, I can also rewrite it as, since x is in the denominator, I can put it to the negative one power, right? And then I put down the sign x. Good. So that is the, another way of writing that function. At this point, we now have the product of two different functions, all right? I can call this first part u and call the second part v. Good. And now, um, let's say u is x to the negative 1 power, and v is sine x. Right? And now, let's figure out what du dx is. So du dx, so as you did earlier, just under it, all right, is going to be, well, differentiating this, we're going to be making use of the power rule. This is negative 1, so we're going to push the negative 1 to the front, right? Push it to the front, that is negative 1. We put down the x, multiply it with the x, and then we subtract 1 from that negative 1, all right? This is negative 1. We subtract 1 from it. Good. And that will give us a very nice thing, all right? And then since we are doing product rule, we will put addition. Great. And then, um, come in. Sorry. Okay. So this right here is the derivative of u with respect to x. Now, let's differentiate v with respect to x. We're going to have the v, the x, to be, well, this is v, all right? To differentiate sine x, we're going to have cosine of x. Great. And now, I need a little space here. To figure out what the derivative of this function will be, the y, the x, we need to go ahead and multiply this, all right, with that. So we multiply x to the, the u with the dv dx, right? u times dv dx. So that is x to the negative 1 power times cosine of x, right? So this is going to be 
x to the negative 1 power times the cosine of x. And then since we are doing product rule, we put the addition sign and now multiply this one with that, right? So that's going to be v times du dx, v times du dx. That's going to be negative x to the negative 1, negative 1, right? So minus 1, minus 1 give us negative 2. So that will be negative of, since we are doing negative, let me just change this. Negative x to the negative second power times sine of x. Good. And we can simplify this a little bit. Since this is x to the negative 1 power, it will come down, all right? That is 1 over x. Then we put it down with the cosine of x. Then minus, well, x to the negative second power, that will be 1 over x squared times sine x. And this right here is the derivative of that second function. All right, good. Okay, let's go over and check out the third function. Again, this is also a fraction. We can rewrite this as 3 times 1 over secant of x, right? Good. Now, 1 over secant x is the same thing as cosine of x, right? 1 over secant is something as cosine. So I'm going to put it down here as 3 times the cosine of x. Great. From here, we can differentiate that, all right? So let me write it properly. So that means that y is 3 times cosine of x. Great. And now, we have a product of two functions where the first part is just a constant function and the second part is now the trigonometric function. So we can call this first one u. So we say let u be 3. And then we call the second one v. v is cosine of x. Right? We now have to differentiate u with respect to x. So du dx is going to be 0 because u is just a constant. Right? And then we differentiate v with respect to x. Well, the derivative of cosine of x is minus sine x. That is what we get, all right? Negative of sine x. Good. Now that we're done differentiating, we will now multiply this diagonal. That will become, that will mean that dy dx will become dv dx times u, or you say u times dv dx, which is going to be 3 times negative sine x. So I can rewrite it as negative 3 sine x. Good. And then since we are doing product where we use addition, all right? And we now multiply this with that. So that will be 0 times cosine of x. Well, that would just be 0, all right? So we add this right here with 0. Adding it with 0, we now change that. So the derivative now is negative 3 sine x. So here, you do not even need to differentiate this 3. You just need to differentiate cosine of x. That will give us negative sine x. And multiply the 3 with that. Okay, great. Okay, let's go over and look at the fourth one. So here we have y to be sine x times cosine of x, all right? Good. Well, first, let's start with the substitution. We say let u be sine x, and then v will be cosine of x. So that means that du dx will now become, the derivative of sine x is cosine of x, all right? And then the derivative, the derivative of um, this v, okay, so we are going to differentiate cosine of x, we have negative sine x. Great. And then we are going to have to multiply the diagonal. So that means the y dx, the y dx will be u times dv dx, all right? That is sine x times negative sine x. That will be negative sine x. sine x times negative, right? I can push the negative and multiply the sines together. That will become sine squared. Good. Let me just clean it up. and put it down there, sine squared of x. And then we now add it to it, since we are doing product rule. We now multiply this and that together. So this and that will have cosine squared of x. Good. So this right here is the derivative of that um, fourth function. Okay, great. All right. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.